Many organisations rely on exemptions that allow certain people to work or volunteer with children without a blue card in specific circumstances, such as a parent volunteering as a coach at their child's sporting club. On the 31st of August 2020, the Queensland Government made changes to the blue card system to make it better, better for you and better for our kids. There are stricter requirements for people who rely on an exemption to work or volunteer with children through the introduction of the terms restricted person and restricted employment. As an organisation or business operator, you must not employ or continue to employ a restricted person. So, what is a restricted person? A restricted person is someone who has been convicted of a disqualifying offence, issued with a negative notice, has had their blue or exemption card suspended, or has been charged with a disqualifying offence and the matter hasn't been finalised. Now, let's look at restricted employment. Restricted employment refers to situations that allow a person to work with children without a blue or exemption card, such as a volunteer parent, a volunteer who is under 18 years of age, paid or unpaid staff who work in regulated child-related employment for not more than seven days in a calendar year, a person living with a disability who is employed at a place where the person also receives disability services or NDIS support services, a secondary school student on work experience who carries out disability-related work under the direct supervision of a person who holds a blue or exemption card. Penalties apply to both the individual who starts or continues working in restricted employment as a restricted person and organisations who employ or continue to employ a restricted person in restricted employment. Let's look at some scenarios. You run a local footy club and have a 16 year old volunteering with kids each Wednesday night. Ordinarily, he is exempt from holding a blue card as he is a volunteer under the age of 18 working with children. However, he has since told you that he was charged with a disqualifying offence on the weekend, but he's going to challenge it in court. He is now a restricted person engaging in restricted employment and the volunteer exemption no longer applies. You cannot let him continue volunteering with kids. If you do so, you will be committing an offence. The maximum penalty that could apply is over $27,000 or two years imprisonment. Let's look at another scenario. You are the blue card coordinator at your local church. A few volunteer parents have called in sick and are unable to help with the kids' youth group on Sunday. One parent says they are happy to volunteer for one day to help with the kids but you know that the parent's blue card is suspended. The parent is a restricted person and cannot rely on the volunteer parent exemption. If you allow the parent to volunteer, you will be committing an offence. So, what can an organisation do to ensure they are complying with the laws? We have developed resources to help your organisation comply with these laws. You can download our Restricted Person Restricted Employment Checklist from our website. You can display our posters in your organisation. You can include a Restricted Person Restricted Employment Declaration for all people who rely on an exemption when working within your organisation. You can also watch our information videos and share these with your staff. And you can promote the laws on your social media platforms. By working together, we can build a stronger blue card system and help keep kids safe. For more information about restricted person and restricted employment, visit our website at www.qld.gov.au forward slash blue card or call our call centre on 1800 113 611 or send us an email at info at bluecard.qld.gov.au.